Since Freewell sent out to me this variable ND, magnetic variable ND filter system for the purposes of this review, it has essentially become the only filter system and the only filters I use anymore. And that's because I just know that when I'm going out, uh, whether it be on an adventure like this on the Great Ocean Road or sort of a family gathering, and there might be a situation where I want to use a filter, I know that in this box I have every filter that I will typically use. And this filter system is by no means cheap, it is an investment. So it is really something for someone who's quite serious about their photography or videography, and it knows that you're going to invest in a filter system and the filter system is going to outlive the life of your camera and in some cases even the life of your lenses. And although in the beginning I was a little bit concerned that being a magnetic filter system that it might sort of come off easily or fall off the camera in sort of a rough situation and I did see one review where a guy said oh you wouldn't want to hang it out in the car at 60 miles an hour or something like that or be really rough with it. Uh, but at the end of the video I will show you, I'll take it off the camera here and I will show you that it does not come off. And because I know that all the filters I need are in this box, it means that I just use the filters more because whenever I'm going somewhere, I just take this with me. Uh, I also find that the packaging that they've included with it is like super convenient. It's got a little carabiner, so if I'm here doing a shoot at the sunset or something like that, and I know the conditions are gonna be changing, I can just take that little carabiner and I just clip it on my belt. It's even more convenient than sort of having it in my camera bag because it's just right there and I can access it and the design of the box is such that when you open it up it's got a little strap that you pull up and it's got all your different filters in there and it's got the actual little tabs labeled so you know which one if you need the two to five stop or you need the six to nine stop you just look here and they're all labeled in their order and I just find that sort of a nice little touch they've also included a place to put sort of extra SD cards and micro SD cards something that I often forget and leave uh, my, my SD card in the computer. So having it there means that I can just put one or two in there, maybe just a small 16 or 32 gigabyte ones. And then later, if I do forget the card, I know that I've got them in this little box. Another thing I love about the filter system is how easy it is to clean the glass because they are magnetic and I'm using them a lot and I'm swapping them on and off. I'm often getting fingerprints on them, particularly when I've got like sunscreen on, when it's a sort of a bright sunny day. Certainly I live in Australia and we need to be sun smart. Skin cancer is like the number one killer down here. So I will be what they call slip slop slapping. And when you get that uh, sunscreen on a normal filter system, it can be a nightmare to get off. But I find with these, it really just takes a little microfiber cloth and that cleans off quite easily. So I am surprised at how e easy these are to clean. And I think they must have done something specific with the design to achieve that. And at first, when you look at the price of this system, you might think it's quite expensive. And to be honest, it is. It is a genuine investment. And it is not for someone who's not very, very serious about their photography or videography and really intends to make use of a filter system. System. But for me, now that these are the filters I'm using, this is a filter system that I would probably have thought was out of my price range before, I realize that it has replaced a bunch of filters that now sit at home that are worth at least as much, if not more, than what this filter system costs. So I think there really is some value for money there when you see all the different filters this system can replace. I also got a sort of larger size that matches up with sort of the biggest lens I use. So I think I've gone with a 72 or 77 millimeter. And then I just use a step down ring to use it with all my smaller lenses. So this has become the sort of the one filter system that I need and use. And uh, when I'm using it with a smaller lens than, than the one I'm using now, I just use the step down rings to use it in that situation. And the step down rings don't take up much space either. I've got them in a sort of a tiny little bag that I just keep in my camera bag. And I love using variable ND filters because it creates your entire exposure control just on the front of your camera so you can just reach out and change your exposure. So I'll set my shutter speed, my aperture, my ISO to exactly what I want. And then all I've got to do is just twist the front of the camera. So it's a very tactile and sort of easy functional way to change your exposure and the amount of light that's coming into the camera. And with a traditional variable ND filter, you've got that screwed on and right now I'm using the two to not two to five stop filter but if I needed to move up to the six to nine stop filter in a normal thread on system 
I would then have to unthread the filter and thread the new filter on. And probably what I would actually end up doing is turning it all up to the maximum five stops and then I'd probably end up changing my shutter speed just to sort of bring it down, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a variable ND filter system. But because it's a magnetic quick swap, you're just taking one off, putting the other one on, and now you've stopped, stepped up to your six to nine stop uh, exposure, your six to nine stop variable ND filter. So you're sort of more likely to use the filter when it is that easy to take on and off. You're also going to find very minimal color cast when using this filter system, which I think is pretty critical because you don't want to be introducing filters to improve your image quality and then having all kinds of color problems. And I'm just going to publish this straight out of the camera. There's not going to be any editing of the colors. I may tweak the exposure a bit because I've got the sun coming in and out like you might have just seen now, but I won't do anything with the colors. So what you're going to see is the colors straight out of the camera. And I really love the mist filter provided with this system. I actually think it's just the right amount of mist. It's like not so much that you're sort of getting a sort of blurry, sort of grainy image, but it's just enough to take that sort of digital edge off, that sort of overly, overly sharpened digital look and give you sort of a sort of a cinematic Hollywood style look. Uh, I think it's great for sort of vloggers that are worried about every detail in their skin sort of showing up or any blemishes or any wrinkles. Sort of just evens all that out. Obviously, it's very good if you're sort of in a moody YouTube studio environment. It gives you those blooms of the lights in the background, and it's great for the city at night. But I think it's just the right strength, the one that comes with this system. It's not too strong. It's sort of like a Goldilocks bed. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. I think it's just perfect, particularly for me. And I use it a lot when I'm sort of vlogging or walking around and doing stuff where I'm going to have the camera particularly close to my face. And I just want to soften up that digital look and sort of just give a little bit more cinematic appearance. And probably the biggest thing is because it's a magnetic system, because it is a quick change system, it means that I use it all the time. So all those filters I have sitting at home of all different sizes and types, they don't get used anymore, not only because this system has given me all the functionality I needed, but because I have to screw those on and off, where this is just clip, clap, and it's on. And it is just such a, such a satisfying filter experience to use, and it just means that I use the filters. So I, I think it's something, if you were gonna invest something, this amount of money, the idea of the magnetic system for me is a real winner because I think it means that you're going to use the system a lot more than a traditional screw-on filter system. And when you look at the price of these, it actually is about the same as sort of two of the Peter McKinnon variable ND filters. So you're not actually getting, um, you're actually getting a lot more for your money as far as the functionality in this system than you do with just those two individual variable ND filters. Now I promised I'd show you how well this magnetic system actually stays on the camera. So I have got the magnetic system on and I've got the lens cap on and it is screwed into this camera. And you know, the one guy said you wouldn't wanna hang it out your window or sort of you're really rough with it. Well, check this out. Yeah, that's not coming off. <laughs> 